flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm on a um, little pattern that I'm trying to pick up on right now. So, you know, you know, listening to this is a message to all scientists and to all, because I want you guys to elaborate on just this concept. Now, you guys may already be on this concept, but you know, me, in my mind, I still I want to add my emphasis on it so you can kind of get a broader perspective on how to kind of look into it. Now, you say it's, it's nothing new up under the sun, so it's not what I'm saying, it's how I'm saying that. How I'm saying that. It. It's not what I'm talking about, it's how I'm talking about it. So hear me out. Um, when you want to look at the universe, right, as a basic construct, now, as previous videos you've seen that I, I was making, you see that I'm talking about this three, this, the sequence of three of events that keep occurring. Now, uh, as far as that, this is common knowledge. Is this how people is looking at it maybe off basis and how you may be looking at about God and see, you may look at my previous video and may think, well, how are we supposed to look at this God or whatever like that? See, th I have a video for this and, and this is whatever religion you in, look, all that is real. I want to let you know all that is real. Just may how you may be seeing it. But the more you act in this truth nature, that I'm going to be expressing in the next few videos is the closer you can really get to the truth. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because when you see a lot of scientists talking about how the universe came about, how the universe is, every time they want to come up with a conclusion, they always tie themselves back to coming to the conclusion of solids. Like, they try to relate everything in reality as far as liquid, solid, and gas, but to explain it, they always come back to trying to explain it from a solid perspective. This is, for an example, this is one of the main reasons why a particle be a wave, but then when a human observe it, it turns into a, a, a particle. And they think that the wave is, which it is conscious, but the human being conscious, and since you being consciously aware of it, by, by these human scientists being naive that they're being human, they think that they're holding more control over what's actually happening than what's actually happening. So they think them observing it is what's actually making the wave start to see like it's a particle. You know what I'm saying? Like like you actually is causing an effect where really it has no choice but to do this because it's three in one. Now let me tell you something. If you want to make the universe, you have to tie something. This is truth right here, what I'm about to say. Now a scientist may look at this, and you may have a lot of scientists who are already thinking about this, but the way how I'm about to just blatantly say it, like direct, you're going to think I'm kind of foolish. But it's kind of truth. You kind of can't just look at the three forms, right? Solid, liquid, gas. So when you want to look at the universe, right? Now, when I explained how in the previous video how three things become one, this is the reason. So when a scientist keep trying to separate it because a human has a separate perception and keep trying to separate itself from the one perception, which it has no choice but to do that, but it, ha it needs to have an understanding that that's what it's doing in order for it to function and balance it right. See, but when a human scientist is too, too far left and trying to figure out the actual situation that's going on, they have no choice but to argue amongst the confusion between the right and left brain. So I'm trying to give you a broader perspective so you can become third person. See, look, now when I said the one, two, three, right, that's when we all do that. First, you're supposed to, you're just here, right? So you came out to zero. You know that. You came out your mother, the womb. Then you're the one. You're experiencing a singularity. Then once you experience a duality, you experience people around you. Everybody around you and your surroundings, that's duality. Then when you become three, you start to, that you have no choice as a human to start to think about things. You become your own third person. This is something the originator did right so you have these characteristics so when you when you do these type of characteristics in your in every situation in life you always going to become the it's always going to be the outcome in your benefit because you acted in the truth of nature see that's what i'm trying to explain to you so when we get to uh thinking about the universe you know what i'm saying now for, if you want me to give give you an example as far as like okay as far as the one two three system again when you uh going through life or whatever like that you and you and how what I'm trying to explain to you is scientists may try to tell you or ask you where does consciousness come from and what I'm trying to explain to you is this concept of three and one once you separate and 
put in your mind that three isn't a number, then you can understand that three itself is one. It's just a sequence of events that take place simultaneously. Now, I know scientists could agree with that. Now, whatever you, whatever you claim to point to that's taking this simultaneously sequence of events is on you. But I'm trying to tell you where you get your concept from, not what you're trying to figure out. So, when we get to the conclusion of the sequence, sequence of events, see, as look at it like this and, and set yourself up. As a human, when you experience the singularity, right, when you come out the womb, then you, then you experience duality by experience your surroundings, right? You have no choice but to develop consciousness. So it's true that humans develop, they created conscious, but it's also true because it's conscious that's already here. So we're, we're living inside of an existence that has these same traits. So when you have, the reason you have conscious is because it has conscious. And the reason it has conscious because it manifested its own conscious. It's, it's the originator of conscious. You, this, when you start to debate or think to yourself and develop all these confusions between the right and left brain, that's when you confuse yourself, but you seem smart in reality. But you're gonna seem dumb metaphysically. So you have to balance these two. If you if you too right brain, you're gonna seem dumb in reality. If you too left brain, you're gonna seem dumb in a metaphoric realm. So you have to learn how to balance. So when it comes to when you learn how to balance these two, which is the one and two, experiencing singularity and then experiencing duality, that alone is what creates consciousness. Now this being, this space itself, is what it is what it did, which is in a previous video. Now, as far as this video right here. I want to say when we talk, I want to give this model to uh, scientists as far as the universe. And it may be a model that they may be already on, but here's a different perspective on it. Now, if we look at the three elements and the, the sequence of events that the scientists may try to look at, let's look at the universe like that. Let's, let's, let's say fuck atoms, fuck all that. Let's say we see water. Water is something you can see. Water is something you can freeze. Water is something you can melt again and make fluid. Water is something you can evaporate and turn into a gas again. So we can, that's, water is like a yin. One of, one of the most purest yin forms that you can see in reality on earth. Only reason you can touch water is because that's the water representation on earth. But the water essence itself doesn't look like that. Only reason you see fire or feel fire like that or whatever like that because it's, it's on earth and that's the relationship it have on earth. And since earth has the, the energy and the power of physicality and growth and time and stuff like that, then that's how them elements going to construct on Earth, and since you're a human and you have these elements and you ha and you're a piece a piece of life on Earth, that's how it relates to you. But fire and water and all that everywhere else may not relate to the same on on planets. So you have to understand that. Now, that's th this is why when you eat a pepper, a pepper may not necessarily be hot like like oh, like you just cook something on a stove, but it may still make you sweat. See, it's like an esoteric. It got eso the esoteric essence of fire. You know what I'm saying? Electricity. So, when we look at the universe, let's look at it like this. Now, I'm going to say you have no choice because you have no choice. When you look at water as a solid, liquid, and gas, when you look at universe, the universe, they say the universe is time, space, and matter. So, when we take the truth out, which God is truth, and you could t truth is in everything. So, that yin and yang ain't in everything, but truth is in yin and yang. So, that's how you know yin and yang ain't God. Check this out. Now, Time, if you look at time, time moves, right? So we know water is, is like fluid, right? So it's like liquid. So we know time is manufactured like liquid out of this it substance, right? Now we know um, physical things matter. We know matter is like basically... Um, Okay, you got time, space, and matter. So we know matter is like solid. Because everything we can see in matter, which all scientists try to tie to, which is physical things, is matter. It's, it's uh, solid. So you have no choice but to place matter in the solid realm if we compare it to water. Now, when you look at space, which, which we know the universe is time, space, and matter, you have no choice but to look at it like if we was compared to gas. Because what is like what is like air? You can't see it, but you, you breathe it from an Earth perspective. Gas, you know what I'm saying? So we have no choice but to put space 
in that realm if we're comparing it to water. So now we have a model. We, we know the universe is, is space, matter, and space, matter, and gas. So we know, I mean, time, we know the universe is time, space, and matter. So we know time is liquid. We know space is gas. And we know matter is solid. So now, if we want to dive in, you're going to say, okay, well, where did that come from? So let's look up what actually it is. Because we're comparing it to water, so we know water is liquid. So let's look up the definitions. What's, what's, what, the, what is liquid? Because we're comparing this to time. What is liquid? I'm, trying, I'm, I'm typing it in there right now. I'm on Google. <laughs> All right, liquid. What is liquid? Having a, cons a consistency. And it's like having a consistency. And then the definition have no choice but to compare it to water. Ha but liquid is not necessarily water. It's an essence. Water just carried the essence of a liquid. But water also has the essence of a solid. And it also has the essence of a gas. See? But they're not the same. But they're one and three. So this three creates one. But you can't understand that unless you take the concept out, out of num three being a number. See? Now, um... Liquid, having a consistency like that of water or oil, flowing freely but a constant volume. Clear, of a sound, clear, pure, and flowing, harmonious, of a sound. Remember in y'all Bible, they say the word was created with the word. With the word. Remember in y'all Bible. See, they, everything is tied to point into it. It's just the way they point into it. Now, let's type, what, what, is, what is gas? Now... Gas is an air-like fluid substance which expands freely to fill any space available. Now, when I compare space to gas, we know gas itself is an air-like fluid. Now, just because we can't breathe space and we want to say it's a vacuum, who said there's not something out there that can breathe space? There's things in space. You know what I'm saying? Quit being naive because you live on Earth. So, just because space doesn't act like air, it's still air-like. Because when we type in the definition of what is gas, gas says this, an air-like fluid substance which expands freely to fill any space available irrespective of its quantity. Now, what is solid? So if you want to ask, we really getting the, the real what is what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, now what is solid? Now, if you want to ask what is, to a religious person, what is God, and they start to say, I'm your mission, I'm your, all you got to say is, uh, what is, what is gas, what is liquid, what is fluid, and you're going to describe God. <laughs> now, the meanings you put behind it, be careful of that, because you can manifest, now, we're going to get, it's spirits and beings out here, but that's when we get to lower forms. I'm going to take y'all there, and that's when we get back to down to astrology and stuff like that, but I'm just trying to take y'all to a high purpose real quick so we can understand what this is going to be about. Now, solid. A firm and stable in shape, not liquid or fluid. See what I'm saying? That's a solid. So, three forms in one is all that we see right now. And you develop these same things, everything from your eye, people, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a basic construct that I'm trying to... reason why I'm trying to explain this is because we have an artist talks about how we can travel through time. How we can uh, walk through walls. How we can maybe um, fly in the midair, and I and, and, and I and I tell you to say this, we have this knowledge, and I'm explaining to you how we have this motherfucking knowledge. You just have to look at it the right way. Now, if you if you take this construct and this model, like I'm telling you, then maybe we'll be able to go through time because y'all come up with new type of boats and new type of shit to flow through the water every motherfucking day. So if you start looking at time as a construct of liquid and fluid, I'm pretty sure we know how to pierce motherfucking time. Because we got niggas who know how to jump through the bottom of the ocean in a matter of seconds. Now, when we want to get to the motherfucking uh, flying aspect as being humans, as far as all these planes and shit like this, I'm talking about as being a motherfucking human. Flying in this body. Now, as far as gas... And, and how thing rises up and stuff like that. And you, you guys know how to make things float and know how to and know how to make things go in the air as far as planes and stuff like that. So as far as like that, you can make that same chemistry go with the human physical form. 
Because we see solids do it every day in space. We see solids do it every day, dust, molecules. So why is you creating and manifesting realms of reality that involves density out of your realm? See, this is, this is the construct of the three again, becoming all the way to nine, and human bringing themselves into lower and lower down into this hell existence. And it's, it's not hell from a perspective that I'm trying to say from a relig religious standpoint, but if we want to get there, I could put it in that way. Now, as far as we want to talk about uh, solids, you want to know how to walk through walls. Well, walk through walls. Well, we know that the universe is, 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 is part of the solids and simultaneous thing also going on too. So, once you start to look at the universe as matter, as a solid, then we start to know how to go in and out of different realms. You see what I'm saying? It's just a basic construct. It's, it's not fully even developed, but I'm just trying to give y'all a basic concept and construct of what's really going on. So, you know, that's the flight boss in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I might have talked my ass off, but goddamn, flight boss. Hey, here.